What does 1999's Japanese horror called Audition mean? Takashi Miike's renowned horror classic Audition is about a widowed husband called Shigeharu Ayama who puts out a casting call for women to audition for a fake radio show. But the true intention wasn't to put together a drama but instead for Shigeharu to find a new wife. In the process of weeding out the applicants, Shigeharu immediately falls for a young 24 year old woman called Asami. Her application was everything that Shigeharu was looking for, she was ambitious and classy. But unbeknownst to him, Asami is a mysterious character that has a shady past. We get to see throughout the movie that she is a killer and loves to torture her victims. And unluckily for Shigeharu, he gets that full treatment. Audition is a movie that reminds me of David Fincher's Gone Girl. It has that same style of uneasiness and tension. And that really plays well in this movie because it is a slow build up. We mostly follow Shigeharu and Asami's relationship. Nothing sinister happens, you might get a snippet here and there, but nothing to get you off your seat. But whilst watching this movie, I was trying to understand why this movie was made. Was it Takashi just wanting to make a tense horror, or was he trying to weave a more serious topic underneath? Sometimes horror is just horror, it is made for the sole purpose of being scary, not caring if it has a divine message. But I think this movie has a purpose. That doesn't automatically mean it is good, messages in movies aren't always needed. However, this film seems so meticulously played out, with each shot having a story to be told and the camera movements are all precise. So I keep asking myself, what was the messaging and the point behind Audition? And I think I have a theory. I am not 100% sure about the theory, but I want to discuss it anyway and it obviously has something to do with our two main characters. We know Shigeharu lost his wife in the beginning, with the movie only properly starting 7 years after the fact. From there his son Shigehiko Ayama persuades him to get a new wife. Now, this persistence of pursuing women is constantly there in the movie. It becomes the heartbeat of the movie, Shigeharu tries to find a new wife as his son pursues his crush. The women in this movie are not seen in a good light, they are seen more as objects than people. We get a scene of Shigeharu's friend complaining about three young women at a bar having fun. These random people we never see again are vilified and made to look bad without ever doing anything. And that thinking of objectifying and lessening women continues. The whole premise is that Shigeharu has an audition to get a new wife, tricking hundreds of innocent women in what is a blind date for him. He marks them and narrows down his list until he finds the right one for him. No consideration to what these women think about the true reason for the fake audition, but it is played out as something that is normal. The men are not seen as sleazy. It is shot like a happy montage, as these women objectify themselves by talking about private topics and performing for the two men like they are in a circus. It becomes a farce. And let us not forget the way he treated his secretary. Their interactions are cold with no emotion. She even tells him she will be getting married and there isn't a proper response to such great news. What we learn later on is that they had sex previously and from the interaction in what can only be described as Shigeharu's subconscious, she felt she was used and not truly respected. In that same subconscious dreaming state, the secretary turns into the girl that his son was dating. Is that him having feelings for his son's girlfriend, not respecting her age or immaturity? If not, then I ask why add her into that scene? And why have him date Asami who can be old enough to be his daughter? Hey. 
it all pitches up to be very scummy and dirty. And what ties the knot together is the character of Asami. What we need to discuss first before talking about Asami is if we can trust her words. She's clearly not right in the head, and I bring that up because if we do go with the idea that she does speak the truth, then we have to take what she says about her past childhood years seriously. She talks about abuse from her ballet teacher and her stepfather. Once again, another thread on women being objectified in this film. Asami is no hero. She is evil. She tortures people and kills them. There's no way back from that. But what I will say is abuse is destructive. I am no expert in this subject, but I feel it is fair if I can speak freely about it for the sake of this video. Asami went through torture herself, from physical to mental, as seen by the burns on her thigh to her describing how she had to sit quiet all day. I am sure that scars someone's perspective, and through that she lost trust in people, potentially mostly in men. It was mentioned in the movie that she did kill a woman as well, but the focus in the movie is primarily Shigaharu, the ballet teacher, and her stepfather. She treats them how she felt she was treated when she was younger. Torture is torture, mental or physical. They both are horrible, and I think her character is a compiled rage that these actions happened to her without any consequences. So she acted on her own punishing them because she trusts no one, shown by how she calls Shigaru a liar because he said he would only love her, but he also loves his son. She has those trust issues because she was let down and this abuse happened to her. This movie isn't subtle when it comes to how she feels. It is a horror movie so Takashi has the right to go as crazy as he wants. But I think the message is still there about the objectifying of women in society. How they are seen as things men can own. And this video isn't about men equals bad and women equals good. I'm talking in the constructs of this movie. And we all obviously know any abuse, men and women, women and men and so on, is despicable. And the movie shows the damage it causes, psychologically and physically. Again, I feel it is important to mention that I'm not saying everyone who gets abused turns into a Sami. The movie Takashi has created is extreme for the purpose of scaring and entertainment. But I do think Takashi weaves a story that still is relevant in today's time. A story about abuse and how we treat each other. But that's my interpretation. What do you think? <laughs>